Like a dream. I actually didn't know that message was still in the game. I thought that was purely Dark Souls 2. Could this be? Yeah, like a dream. This is Dark Souls 3. I don't have Lark here, you may have noticed. And that sound you just heard was toilet paper tearing off of a roll. I have fucking allergies, and they really got bad today. Uh, there's always just one day in the year where allergies are all of a sudden like, you know? That was actually not my face. Don't worry about me. I have the Irithyll, Ithril Dental Floss Sword of Minty Freshness. I'm just gonna go through some areas. This sword fucks so much. It used to take so many hits. Oh. This game just paused for- oh. We done? You done with that shit? Thank you. Kills a lot of enemies in three hits because it does frostbite damage or whatever. What do we have here? Could it be a chump? These guys are chumps now! Yeah, this sword really fucks. I leveled it up once, because I remember... I remember hearing about it being really good. And I was like, eh, might as well take it, take it for a ride. Hey! Oh, I think that was from this fuck. That, like, discount man-eater Mildred that, like, fell off the cliff. Oh yeah, I was waiting to get the transposing kiln from the tree so that we could get uh, the overpowered ice hammer from Vort, his soul. But uh, but no, we, we didn't kill it. I did not realize that the Irithyll straight sword was an ice weapon as well. And it's also a nice weapon. I was really hoping there would be more odds and ends. I already kind of cleared out, oh, here we go. I cleared out most of the swamp. Are you uh, alive? Yeah, you're alive, holy shit. <laughs> I thought that was a dead corpse. I guess that's really the only type of corpse. I sleep like this. I really splay out, and I, I am a belly sleeper. Usually. I tell you what, guys, allergies fucking suck ass. There's an item over there. There's a bunch of dudes over there, and they're chumps now. These guys really were, like, posing a serious threat when we first came down here. I think this weapon will really give us the edge. So, interesting sequence of events happened the other day. I went out to go thrift shopping. I was like, I'll go to Value Village. I drove down there. I had my coupon in hand. When I got there, the store was completely empty, closed. It had shut down. No more Value Village in that place. And I was like, holy shit, that happened fast. Uh, like, the sign was off the store and everything. I was like, that's crazy, this is nuts. Also, how the fuck... How do I get over to that part? I'm gonna go... Mm, I don't think it wraps around. I'll go another... There's not really another way to go. How did I... What the fuck am I doing? After, directly after I went to Value Village and the store was just gone, I, I went to the car repair auto shop. You know, words. And, uh, the one that I normally use, that doesn't screw me over, it was also closed! It was shut down! So two businesses that I tried to go to, in a row, were out of business. Nothing. Gone. It was a really, it, it was very strange. I was like, where's the camera? Who's filming? Okay, so, wow, I can level up just a fuck ton of times. Okay, chat. I always get yelled at after I level, just no matter what I do. Uh, so, so let me know, what what do you think I should level? We, we're pretty low in vigor and at this point, uh, it, it'll give us a lot. I'm thinking a couple in there. Uh, let's give it a nice 15 and then a nice 18. I kinda don't, uh, like, there are certain things, I don't wanna kill bosses on this stream, because I wanna reserve certain things for when Lark is here. But I will try to fucking improve the character a little bit. Oh, hey. Big juicy item right past this nice looking fella. Okay, okay. Oh, what's that? What's that? I didn't have any fucking stamina and now I'm gonna get grabbed and killed? Great stuff, game. Fucking wonderful. Ooh. Oh, one of my ears unblocked, though, guys, so it's all okay. Everything's great. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. I have, like, a weird condition. My ears sometimes go very long periods of time without popping. 
No matter what I do, I know all the techniques to pop one's ears. I can blow air out of every orifice on my body, including my ears. No. I can actually blow air out of my eye. My right eye. This is real. That is a real thing. Maybe when I get a, a moment of respite, I can, I can try to- oh, it's a coal. I can try to make the sound, because it does make a little sound on stream. So I, I don't get to have ear unblockage feelings very often, so when I do, I'm not- Oh god. Oh fuck. You- You- Alright, I'm gonna put my eye close to the thing. <sighs> that was it. That was the sound of air coming out of my right eye. If I just plug my nose and try to blow through it, it comes out my fucking eye. How fucked up is that? It's only my right eye. It's never my left eye. Ever. Oh, what is- okay. Sure, pulling his sword out of the ground was not, in fact, a punish animation. That was a- that was an attack. That was a move. Whoa! Whoa, what was that? What are you doing, lunchbox? Golden Falcon! Falcon Shield! Imagine a mod for Smash Brothers, where every time you do any move as Captain Falcon, he announces it in the same manner that he announces Falcon Kick and Punch. And YES! Giant enema crab. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, don't- don't throw your spit at me. Yeah, you gotta get up pretty fucking early in the morning to hit the old giant hand on Grapefruit Gamer. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? He just sat there. Oh! Bye. Either this is a different crab, and I didn't notice, or... I wasn't continuing that sentence, I was just answering a question about what I like to row my boat with! Ah! Stop doing that! You rock that soldier boy! The Black Knight, or the Dark Knight, or whatever, actually died in a really fucking epic way. I didn't realize that all the enemies have friendly fire, so I got- I just got the Titanite Lizard to like roll into him a couple times, and he died. Oh, also, somebody explained the eye thing and it was quite fascinating. I didn't read it out at the time because I was occupied in-game, but very good to know, interesting. Also, these pots completely failed to break as ordained. Let's see if these ones... Nope, they suck too. It's like it spawned the pieces, but then forgot to actually make them have physics. Shit, there's not a lot left to do. Try me, bitch. Oh shit, he tried. Oh no, they were ready for that. Hello? Hey, Andrew? Lark? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm doing a stream right now. And, uh, Hello. I'm- I- I don't wanna- it's sad that I had to say this over the phone, but <laughs> I'm playing Dark Souls 3 without you. Yes. Uh, I- so I've cleared out a lot of the areas, and now I'm at a point where, uh, I don't really know- I don't wanna, like, make a bunch of significant progress without you here. Yes. But I'm wondering if I can have your blessing to go- kill, like, a boss. Like, probably not the Abyss Watchers, but I'm thinking the tree, the tree? or the crystal crystal gem lady, or whatever. Yeah. Kill those, because we were so close both times, like, literally you, all we needed was, like, a little bit more grindy grind. You're fine with that? You don't need the, like, catharsis of being there when it, it when the job gets done? Do the deed. Alright, I'll do the fucking deed. I'll make you proud. Make them pay. Alright, also, chat says hi. Alright, talk to you later. Also, I think- th does this sword make the game go laggy? Or is it because I'm loading new areas too quickly? The game's like, no! Don't! Scar! Brother! Save me! I don't think you can lower particle effects. That's kind of like- I was thinking the sword might be- Oh my god, this is- Oh, this is such- Such an improvement. We one-shot these guys now, mostly. This is a sick boss. Like, it's bullshit, but at least it looks cool. It's got, like, awesome music. I don't know. It's got something. <sighs> I don't like using Estus. I don't like getting hit through a tree! Mm -hmm. 
Oh, can we get this guy? Please. Please. Damn it. I didn't get the guy. I want to get away. I want to fly. Oh. Yeah. 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 Fuck. I want to hit a hand. I want him to die. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you fucking tree piece of shit. So, we just had a bad weapon <laughs> the first time. We should have just been using this from the start. I got the kiln. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Did it crash? Holy shit, it crashed. That is the first time I've ever had a Souls game outright crash on me. Oh, does, uh, does the Crystal Sage... I think it opens up the path to the uh, Cathedral of the Deep, right? Look at this repeating texture border. Normally From Software is pretty good about keeping the, the repeating textures out, unless you're playing a little old game called Dark Souls 2. Oh, I was gonna say, I swear to god, if you crash again, I will crash you, I will crash you! Let's see it. Yeah! I found an undead bone shard, so I'll do that. And also we got one of those. Oh, we got two of those? Holy shit. Holy shit, and we got a coal? Oh my god, we got two coals! Oh, 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 this is too much. Yeah. And we can open that tower when, uh, when Lark's on stream. I don't need to trade with a crow anytime soon. We have seven Estus now, and it's Estus Flask plus two! That is so good. We're so much stronger. Uh, this is up. Oh, the stray demon. Did we kill the stray demon? I don't think we did. I did not get an explicit blessing to kill the stray demon. Also, <laughs> lunch bag is like phasing into another dimension. I'm gonna reread. I'm like rereading the parts like in reverse order. I didn't really intend to do that, but it's happening now. Oh fuck. Oh shit! I broke my controller. I mean, it's fine. It was already a little fucked. But I gotta slip the pad back on the Xbox joystick. Oh, I think I got it back on. Holy shit, guys. Never mash. Never mash against the stray demon. I didn't even live. I died. Oh. Alright, I'm plugging it back in. We're live. Okay, I'm not gonna fight the stray demon. Tis a silly place. Also, remember when Lark was here and I was like... All these bosses, I, I didn't really have much trouble with them on my first playthrough. Maybe because it was because we were using a not terribly great weapon. This is not fun. I do not enjoy this. Cha, cha, cha. No! I did not think those things circled around. Also, I hit her like three times, look how much damage. We should have been doing this shit from the start. Look at that fucking damage! Insane! Fuck. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Ah, yes, here we are. Ah, yes. Shoot me with your bullshit, please. Thank you. It might as- it's... almost more expedient to just go to the one... that's real this time. Oh! <laughs> never mind. Never. Never. Never! Look at this bullshit. No! Ah! So many fucking... Farron darts! You Farron piece of shit. You! Oh no! No! That killed me! Oh, you fucker. That came out of nowhere. I had so much health. Was it two of them? Maybe they were overlapping. It certainly didn't feel like two of them. Did I? Oh, I was gonna say, did I just get invaded for like a second? <laughs> it's true. Yeah! Finally. Fuck you. Okay! Oh, ho ho! Yahoo! Fuck you. Oh no. Not like this. Okay, well the fakes are in between me and the real one, so... Guess we're doing that. Oh, awesome. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah! Fucking great! Yeah! Everybody loves projectile bosses. That, that spam projectiles at you. Right? 
Why aren't there more of those, huh? I just can't wait till we fight the fucking Dragon Slayer armor. And it's like that except no telegraphing. And they just fall from the fucking sky. This is one of those bosses that when you die to it, you're just like, oh. You know? There's no learning moment. Hey, fucking projectile, can you not? How long do these things stay? How long do these things stay? What the hell? It's like From Software was like, oh, you know, we wasted the duplicate teleporty spell boss idea on Pinwheel. And he was such an easy boss. So now we need to make like a real version of that. And it was like, no, From Software, you really didn't. Just whenever you're done is fine. Whenever you want to just chill. I, I, I doubt it at this point. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's sick. Wow. It doesn't really matter how many, uh... Estus I have in this fight, sadly. Oh my fucking god, I'm so pissed right now. I'm gonna fucking die to some random, like, bullshit. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah! Awesome! Awesome boss. Great. There's that dog teleporting. Holy shit. Holy shit! We're seeing it in action! I thought it only happened off camera. What the hell? It's so blatant out of nowhere. Why is it so- What the hell? Why is it suddenly the glitchiest looking fucking thing ever? We've got like six amazing clips in a row of it just teleporting. You would think that if my game was constantly lagging, it would at least look good, but no. This is the lowest graphical settings. I must have just lucked my way through this boss somehow the first time, but it kind of feels like horseshit that you can't really learn at all. Like, I'm sure that yes, like, speedrunners have a great way to kill that boss, like, in two seconds with the orange Listerine ring or whatever. But man, it is, it really does not feel fun at all. The line is, like, so fine between, like, enjoying the fuck out of a boss. Like, Artorius? Great boss. Died to him, like, a million times. Love that boss. Ornstein and Smao, Great boss. Died to him, like, a million times. Love that boss. This boss, like, not only forgettable in the lore, but just annoying. The worst part is this first phase is like nothing. It's nothing. And then out of nowhere, it's like, oh yeah, four of them at once. Mmm. Like, what was that? What was that move? The show me your crystal ball project that you've been working on move. Lick my fucking taint! What a shit boss. I'm so glad I was like spared that experience the first time I played this game. Holy shit. Oh, there's another bonfire right here. Oh, hello? What are you doing? Oh, what the fuck? Who are all of you? What the hell? I don't remember this at all. Like, the teleporting dogs are so egregious out of nowhere. You know what feels even worse than having allergies, though? Is people getting annoyed at you for sniffing loudly when you have allergies, or for, like, blowing your nose often. That is just like, fuck off. You do not know pain. You think you're annoyed? You don't have your fucking... I, like, I, that was mostly, it's not really something I encounter in adult life, because most adults are, like, at least a little reasonable. But in elementary school, people were just like, just blow your nose, dude. And I'm like, I do! Millions of times! Snot keeps coming! This is so fucking annoying. Oh, wait, what the hell? Did that look weird as shit? What's going on with my arm? I have a machete in my arm. Did he- 
Is he throwing machetes at me? So how- that happens sometimes, apparently. Getting a parry and then... It just d does damage to you also? I thought a partial parry just, you know, was basically like blocking it but you take some damage. But that is a different thing from partial parrying, I think. I had a teacher say that shit to me once. Where they were like, just go into the hall and get a paper towel and just like blow all the snot out of your nose and then come back into the classroom. I was like, you, you, you. Are you fucking sure about that, dude? Yeah, tests are a pretty horrible time. Because it's like, you do have to sniff. You have to do it, you can't just get up and blow your nose all the time during a test. Also, I'm sad that Lark is missing this pretty crucial lore here. Are we gonna be able to access the DLC, like, right now? Or, I think we need a certain thing. Yo, Slave Night Gale is THICK! Mmm. Actually, oh, alright, fine. I'll just tell Lark what happened. Thank you. They look ash never pay. Just a moment then. I don't think I'll be doing the DLC right now, so I don't I don't know why I probed further. Well brought it scrap of it, that is. I assume if you say refuse, he just goes, oh well, and then you can do it again if, later if you want it. If you want to, but I didn't even want to risk it. I'm gonna get schlucked into the painting. Oh no. Schluck! So this is the DLC that I have played for the most part. I killed a really forgettable boss. There was a really insanely hard boss that was just long, and I was like, mm, rhyme blue. That's me. Haven of the Forlorn, cold and gentle painted world, yada fucking yada. Sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Because From Software has not yet shown off their passionate love for entropy quite enough yet. They have to introduce rot. Whoa, what the fuck? Do these enemies make the sound that Belcha makes in Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie's Double Trouble? <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. We're here. Oh yeah, I found a pot of Estes soup off stream as well. Which I was kind of sad about Lark missing that. But there will be another one soon enough, I think. Oh! <laughs> that guy was asleep, and he was dreaming about getting a sword rammed up his ass. And I went, hey buddy! And he went, Zoop. what's that you say? You got a sword to stick up my ass? Is this implying that that same giant archer once, like, laid siege to this place? Oh, he's shooting right now. Where? Wait, where are those coming from? This has got to be something. <gasps> my mind played japes on me. I saw like, a sub-level that was just like a design flare, and I was like, oh, I can just drop down. No. Oh, what the hell? Oh my fucking god. Did you guys see that? What happened? The ladder kick animation played, and then it, my guy just fell off. I swear I didn't run off that time. That felt like jank. That was like some class A jank. No, don't you dare. Piece of shit. You know what? Fine. I will loop back. Who gives a shit? I'll come back another day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.